Virgos, welcome to my channel. This is going to be for Virgo Sun Moon and Rising Placements. Um, of course, any information that you need will be in the description. So just check there, especially if you want to work with me on a personal basis. And make sure you subscribe as well if you want to see future readings. Now, let's jump into it. I do have the Seven of Cups as the first card that flipped and actually fell on the floor. So, uh... Right off the bat, first message I'm getting, Spirit is definitely encouraging you to explore your options romantically, financially, in terms of like jobs and, and freelance opportunities. Um, overall, Spirit is definitely encouraging you guys to maybe step out and step into a space of curiosity. There's been a lot of fog in terms of which direction you're going in with the current path that you're on and whether or not you are aligning with your personal goals. So in this questioning, first thing you need to know is all of this is on purpose. I think that spirit is pushing you to question your circumstance and the direction that you're going in because you guys haven't really gotten to go to the, you know, uh, the drawing board, like how you need to, and maybe get a full spectrum perspective. So with the seven of cups and you exploring your options, though, spirit does want to make sure that you are having a level of groundedness because this is still a cup card. This isn't like a pinnacle card. So, and as you can see, all these cups contain different types of <laughs> foolishness in them. Okay. We got, uh, one with jewels in them. We don't know if it's fake jewelry. Okay. We got one with a ghost in it. Uh, <laughs> we have one with a success reef. Uh, we have a snake here symbolizing knowledge. So there's definitely this need for you to explore your options, but definitely needing to have a level of groundedness in doing so, and that you're not going based off of emotions and what looks shiny, what just seems to be, especially romantically. Some of you could be um, actually in the process of exploring your options, and maybe you're running into people who aesthetically look good, but is their character in par with what you're looking for? Uh, maybe they're on paper, an awesome person in terms of having a great job, but are they loving? Are they compatible is what you guys are having to look at. Same thing in terms of jobs. Okay. I have another card that fell. So we do have the 10 of swords. I'm going to pull another one. We have the 10 of swords and we got the ace of swords. Okay. Hmm. So spirit wants you to know that you can at any point decide to pick yourself up, dust yourself off and try again, like Aaliyah said, <laughs> um, because you're not at a point to where you're not able to, uh, start over, especially, and I just realized this too. We have the 10 of swords and then the ace of swords. So this is literally the cycle starting over. So this is, if this wasn't like more of a direct reading, I don't know what would be, but, uh, <laughs> with this 10 of swords and the ace of swords being right next to each other, this is symbolizing that you have the opportunity to start fresh, to have more of an understanding that you didn't have a year ago, two years ago whenever ago, whenever you went through this, you know, traumatic experience or have gone through whatever mental issues that you have been struggling with, um, you have gained so much insight, so much understanding that you can now move differently, be strategic in a different way. Spirit is letting you know that all is not lost. If anything, God is giving you more of an opportunity to finally, um, see the light. Especially with the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. A lot of you have been in this fog for way too long, the last seven months, actually. And that cycle, that period of energy is coming to a close because that said thing, that betrayal, that person, that experience is no longer to be. And now you can finally see things from a clearer point of view. All right, let's keep going. We also have the three of cups and I have the will of fortune. So when it comes to a business too, some of you maybe need to go back to the drawing board in terms of like direction in terms of where that business is going instead of like completely 
uh, deciding to shut the business down, maybe you need to go back to the drawing board and rework some things. But another thing I'm picking up on Mm. So there is going to be random events, random occurrences that are very uncontrollable. Like Wheel of Fortune, the tower right next to each other. Ooh, okay. What this is given to me with all these cards, the spirit is giving you guys another chance to redo things and you guys better take it. <laughs> like with the tower being at the end, it's like, Okay, we're purposely shaking shit up so that you can see that it's time for things to either go, to shift, to change, your focus needs to be different, all of that, especially the way that these cards are kind of playing out in the storyline. Okay, bottom of the deck, I do have the cherry in reverse. So yes, what has halted you? What has kept you uh, stuck? Is it the fact that you guys have been staying to this like old, outdated way of thinking? So spirit is wanting you to address that as well or where you guys need to prioritize more of a balance within yourself mentally in order for you to have a sense of direction and where you're headed and where you're trying to go. Okay, let's pull some more cards. What is the message for... Oh my gosh. What is the message here... For my Virgos. So we have quiet your mind. Overthinking a problem is not the key to any door. Take a few breaths to stay in or excuse me, to still your inner chatter. Let yourself just be for a while. So yeah, uh, putting yourself in a mental prison to where you're like overly drilling yourself with uh, self-defeating thoughts, uh, just doubting yourself, just putting a whole bunch of negativity into your frame of mind. Uh, this could be causing you to even make act or take actions that are uh, more so hindering you or limiting you. So you do need to make sure you're prioritizing your mental health because all is mental. It starts from the mental plane and then it manifests in the physical. So just be aware of that. And any moment where you find yourself to start thinking negative because you can't stop negative thoughts. But what you can do is stop yourself in the tracks of thinking them and tell yourself it's not true. And I also have journey here in reverse. So, yes, there's definitely a need and I don't really read uh, Oracle cards in reverse. But there's a need for you to know that you are on a personal journey here. Uh, hmm. That has a lot of twists and turns for one, but also it's like making sure you're not losing sight of what your mission is and getting caught up in the chitter chatter of your mind, getting caught up in the uh, ten of sword moments where you're at your lowest. But I hope that this was helpful. If this reading was, definitely feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe so you never miss a beat in the future. Uh, I do have the 2023 year ahead spreads up on my website as well as the uh, January 2023 forecasts up on my website. So check that out if you would like one. And I will see each and every one of my Virgos in the next one. Bye.